So while we're on here, I'm using the FME uh, data inspector, and so I thought we we sort of look at the data inspector and some of the improvements because I think we were talking earlier, and, and Dale said it's pretty close to being where we can use it to replace the FME Universal Viewer. So um, so should we launch a poll, Mark? Yeah, let's launch that poll that we've got. Just to poll... get a sense, you know, we've uh, I like to say that. Uh, the data inspector has been safe software's equivalent of a land war in Asia because we've been working on this for probably five years now but um, finally I think have found the the winning path through the competing demands of trying to do 3D, 2D and in fact tab tabular data um, yeah. so we, uh, we've we um, found found that we're getting very close this, this uh, FME 2013 will be the last release where the data inspector isn't the primary application and so uh, let's just close the poll and uh, we'll show the result, results to folks. So um, about half the people out there have been using it, a third have heard of it, and um, some have never even heard of it. So again, the data inspector is our next generation inspection tool. We're pouring a lot of effort into it. It can do 2D, 3D, and Mark, you're even going to show the uh, table view today a bit? We've got a table view, yes, I'm going to show that. And the other thing we'll look at is the filtering mechanism, which is uh, way, way improved. Um, over the uh, over the viewer. So. Yes, so it, it is our next generation thing. What, what what caused us the slowdown in building this thing was that we initially tried to do both 2D and 3D in the same way and that was a, a path that led to destruction because if you're looking at a map such as the one Mark is showing right here, the overhead to build the capability to view that thing in 3D is just very large and so if you don't care to see it in 3D, you're paying an enormous performance price. And so we've um, seen the light on this and, uh, and are handling it in a different way. So anyway, Mark, are there things you wanted to show in the data inspector? Um, yeah, a couple of things. Uh, one of them was the uh, the table view, which we, we've, oh, yeah. we've uh, talked about. So I can, I'm just going to drag that off as a separate tab. So basically, whereas before we could only look at one feature at a time, and look at the records for it and the attributes. Now we've got this table view where we can look at all of them in a sort of Excel spreadsheet type uh, arrangement. And I don't, I don't think there's any functionality to do anything with the data. But um, well, if you actually, it, if you click around on there, if, we, if you could see the whole map, the, the, they would light up. Okay, interesting. So um, okay, so and actually, I'm, you can see the feature information in the in the back is changing around as you. Okay, gotcha. The other thing I really like about this are all the different tabs because obviously we've got, let's see, six different feature types and we have a different table view for each of those different feature types. So that's the new, the no path. Um, these are all the different roads that we've got in the road network. So that's a table view of that. Uh, there's a table view of the shortest route and all of the other routes as well. So we, we've got all of those different tabs. I really love that. That, that just works uh, so nicely. Um, yeah. So that's the table view in a nutshell and it really is uh, is good. And I think we've got this little button up on the top where you can actually yeah. change from a spatial view into the table view. Is that right? If I yeah, click give it that. a spin. Does it work? Yep. So now the table view is being displayed in the in the main uh, display window rather than yes. um, yeah, and now I can flip back to 2D and uh, it comes back. Yes. So that's so one of the things. Sorry, Dale, yeah. you were. I'll just mention that um, we're going to be continuing in this uh, kind of release cycle. FME 2013 Service Pack 1 and 2. We're going to keep updating the the data inspector. So it's not going to sit static. It's going to keep uh, getting improvements. Um, in this area of the table view and, and other things as we move ahead. We're, we're really looking, I mean, the biggest thing missing from the data inspector is the ruler in, in terms of 2D. Okay. But we're going to add that soon too. Okay. I mean, if it helps anyone, it's got to the point where I'm actually using it now. I'm, I'm very conservative in my software. I, I, I stick with something for a long time and uh, complain when it changes, but I'm, I'm actually switched to using this now because it's got everything I need. Uh, in there, so um, the other the other th fantastic thing it's got now is this filtering. Because if you've tried to filter data in the FME viewer, you you probably had quite a few problems. Well, we've got <laughs> to say the least. Um, so now we've got this filter option within the FME data inspector, which is based on the tester uh, interface. 
So um, I can start putting stuff in here like, I think I was going to filter by road class. I think wow. I was uh, doing this earlier. So I can say find all class one roads. And um, so there we go. So I've, I've turned everything off apart from the class one roads. That's uh, pretty that classy. Filter. That is so much easier to use than, than before. I love that. Um, and of course, with the tester, we can do things. I assume, like negate that and say, find everything that isn't a class one road, and, yeah. that, and just flip it like that. Uh, we, presumably, we've got all of these operators as well, like begins with, ends with, etc. So um, we can do all of those different tests right in the FME data inspector to see that uh, information. So I love that. That to me, to be honest, Dale, to me that is bigger than the table view. I'll, I'll say yes. that. Yeah, it's that probably true. Does, that just does it for me. Yeah. 